Hello, uh, today uh, we will be looking at uh, correlations. Uh, I'm using uh, JASP and the data that we have here uh, comprise of uh, variables uh, that has been uh, averaged from the items measuring uh, attitude. There are two measures of attitude, uh, subjective norm, perceived behavioral control, uh, intention and also financial capability. Yeah? So, if we want to look at the correlation among this variable, uh, it's quite easy to do in uh, JASP. Yeah? And uh, what we uh, do is we go to uh, regression and then we choose classical correlation. And uh, we select all the variables that we want to correlate. So for example, I want to uh, include all of uh, this. Yeah? into the variable box yeah and then what we have what we have is a table like this this is what we call the correlation uh, matrix yeah uh, and we can see the uh, Pearson R value and also the p-value associated with the uh, R statistic so the way to read this table is we look at the pair of variables so for example the average attitude and average CCAP is highly correlated it's 0 0.705 the r value can range from minus 1 to plus 1 and it could not be more than plus 1 or less than minus 1 yeah and then you see here the p value is reported as less than 0 0.001 so this means th this correlation uh, value this r value is significant yeah and we can see that all of the values are in fact significant yeah and uh, you can see here the table has been uh, uh, formatted uh, quite clearly enough yeah and i think uh, if you com uh, copy and paste uh, into microsoft word then uh, you will not need to uh, edit uh, uh, quite a uh, lot yeah and uh, we can uh, see uh, the relative uh, values of the uh, correlation some are uh, as high as 0 0.7 <laughs> sorry 71 uh, in fact this one which is 0 0.738 that's the highest and uh, as low as 0 0.209 yeah and if you want to uh, get rid of the uh, p uh, value yeah uh, at the bottom here uh, maybe you can just say uh, flex significant correlation and un uh, uncheck the report significance yeah so then you get a table which is much uh, simpler with asterisk uh, to indicate the level of significant so you can see here all of the uh, r values have three asterisks indicating that all of them has p value less than 0 0.001 yeah um, so uh, that's uh, the uh, correlation and uh, in fact we can also uh, look at different types of correlation yeah uh, and uh, what would be actually very useful is to look at the scatter plot yeah because we want to check whether the variables are in fact correlated in a linear manner linear means straight line yeah so we don't want to see correlations that are curvy linear yeah uh, so we uh, need to look at the pattern of the data uh, in scatter plot yeah and with uh, data uh, having limited range of scores it might be a bit difficult to look at the uh, pattern yeah so uh, here it looks like a, a square yeah or, or a rectangle yeah uh, but with uh, this one maybe it looks a bit uh, better uh, but in general, I don't see any curvilinear relationship, so I guess it should be uh, okay. Yeah, and uh, the hypotheses uh, are listed here, so you can uh, uh, check uh, the direction of the uh, correlation, and this will be reflected in the node uh, section. Yeah, so uh, you can. Uh, also um, look at the assumption uh, checks yeah i've mentioned just now that we uh, we want to check whether uh, the correlation are linear yeah and then we can uh, also look at uh, multivariate uh, normality and also pairwise uh, normality but we just uh, have a look at the multivariate uh, normality uh, normality is uh, usually uh, uh, 
an assumption for uh, many statistical uh, analysis yeah so what we can see here the shapiro wilk uh, is 0.907 np is actually in this case significant so what does it mean uh, when the shapiro wilk is significant it means that we may not have a normally distributed uh, data yeah so one of the assumption for uh, for running correlation uh, analysis is not uh, met yeah however uh, the sample size yeah uh, if you check the sample size here the sample size actually is quite big yeah well in fact uh, for uh, many purposes uh, this is uh, considered big yeah 602 so even with uh, non-normal distribution i think it should not be much of a uh, problem and if you want to be more strict about the correlation analysis you can do spearman uh, row yeah uh, this is a non-parametric uh, uh, equivalent of pearson uh, r yeah and as you can see the final decision will be uh, more or less the same all of the uh, correlations are uh, still uh, significant at less than uh, at P less than 0 0.001. Okay, so that's the basic uh, information about how to run correlation analysis in JASP. Uh, hope to see you in a different video. Thank you.